Well, welcome to the uh, Wheatley Oval. We're here in the uh, John Mallon T20 Cup, Wheatley uh, Bowling and Retford a batting. And we start off with two wides. Cut shot, uh, he hasn't timed it and it's no run. <laughs> oh, that's a big fish, but uh, out towards the badge, it's not going to go. And Retford run two. So we've got Reuben Lindsay opening the bowling for Wheatley at the washing line end. Cut out, it's gone through Johnny Lotes, out towards the boundary for four runs. Lovely shot. Well, everyone's allowed a loosener. And so is Reeves. See if we can get into a rhythm here. Lovely bowling. And he follows it up with a Jaffa. And let's see what the uh, signal is here. I think it's buys, yeah. Cut out, and that is a superb shot. Four runs. Tennis players making a racket behind us, do apologise. Little flick out to mid wicket. Eddie has a shot at the stumps. Oh, look at that. Dead eye. So I'm on the loan here today by kind permission of Mrs. Peck. Um, it's very much her decision if I uh, come and uh, film these matches. Well, I can only be here for an hour. So we have fellow commentary legend at Wheatley, Jimmy Nixon here. How are you doing, Jimmy? I'm very well, Mr. Peck. How are you doing? Not bad, mate. I'm, I'm like the Mr. Miyagi to your karate kid. I'm <laughs> teaching you how to use this uh, camera of ours. Oh, thick inside edge, it's fielded by Eddie. He now finds himself at square leg, they've bolstered the leg side field. It's a lovely day for it. Isn't again. it just, mate? Again, I thought it was going to be, it was threatening to rain yeah. not so long ago, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good now. I've uh, eschewed the need for uh, uh, suntan lotion today, which I think with uh, my follicle challenge head was a mistake. <laughs> so, well bowled by Roos and ends uh, solid first over. So it's 14 without loss, we're into the third over. Eddie continuing. And that's been dinked out behind square on the offside for a single. That's Rob Huntershaw keeping for Wheatley today. Cal Rutherford in the slips. I don't think he's going to be bowling after yesterday's, oh, he's still limping after yesterday's um, injury. Jimmy sizes out here as well. <laughs> you, is he feeling any better, Jimmy? I don't think so, no. no. I don't think he'll be bowling <laughs> so either. They're going to make up a, a chunky slip, Gordon. Obviously, ball by Eddie. No run. Oh, it's been launched over the top of George for a couple of bounces into the hedge for four. Lovely. Oh, it's edged between Rob and Cal, and that's four runs. In comes Ruben to bowl. Pitched well. And up in the air. It's going to plug, is it? It's plugged. Could be three runs here. It's a teaser for the field, is that one? And back <laughs> in to the bowler. Good shot for three. Or two, I think, sorry. Moving to ball, in he goes, yeah. and he bowls in. Fantastic ball. <laughs> Absolutely super ball for young Ruben there, 15 year old. Opening the ball in. Love the energy with which he uh, celebrates. Oh his yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he, um, he bowled very well yesterday, but didn't get any wickets, and um, he acted like a 15 year old child yesterday. He was <laughs> throwing his toys on the ground. <laughs> Ball up in the air. Let's span. Once he gets it in, and two runs. So, this gentleman batting for Retford is one of my fellow coaches. We're on a coaching course at the moment, uh, George, uh, where we're learning to coach dynamos and quick crickets. And uh, it's Jimmy, do we have an opportunity for people to come here to... Uh, yeah, abs absolutely, it? Mr. Peck. I'm <laughs> glad you brought that up. So, um, this year is our first year of running a Dynamo's um, uh, class, I guess. Um, and we start on Sunday, the 27th of June. So, anyone that fancies doing Dynamo's, please pop down. Yes. 
Oh, a failed age by Mr. Lewis. So, uh, Colin Rutherford's come into bolt, which I'm very surprised about, because um, I believe he was uh, very badly injured. Here he comes, a couple of steps, and lovely first ball. Miraculous, you could say, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, I had, I had, <laughs> as he got carried off by four people. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Mr Peck wasn't allowed to show the clip, because Carl complained, but I'm sure I'll be able to twist your arm at some point. It's definitely going in the uh, end of season club video, Jimmy. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> 31 runs so far, and that shot is out into the offside, being chased down by Munch, and big arm, too big an arm, but well backed up by Ruben. Lovely ball by Mr Rutherford, swiping the miss. Oh, Lexi's got it. Caught by Mr Lopes, chipped up into the offside. Thirty-three for two, six over. Ruben's third and final over. And it comes. Ooh, a little inside edge onto the pads. And into the pads, and we're joined by Wheatley's very own Southern superstar, Aidan Blake. <laughs> yeah. And Aidan, would you like to tell the fans how you batted yesterday? I batted pretty well. Yeah. I think um, modest. Le left a wide. You left a uh, wide, yeah. And then the ball went straight through me and hit the stump. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. No bat on ball for me yesterday, which was disappointing. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, sometimes that's Next the time, mate. Days. We'll get there, mate. We'll get there. Oh my word! What a catch! One-handed flying catch. <laughs> Jimmy Sisler. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Through the air. Um, wow. And unfortunately, because I've taken over the camera work, we actually oh, missed that catch. No. Mate, I, I would have missed that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and a beautiful ball. Um, a bottom edge. And as you can see by those beautiful stumps, just slightly out the ground. Um, it's worth pointing out, obviously, that we, um, this is the Mallon Cup 2020 today, which we lost the first game. So it's a bit of a dead rubber, this, for both teams. Um, but always nice to play a bit of cricket. So, uh, change the baller. Hope the tennis court ends. Uh, Alton Munchausen coming on, our half-German specialist. Starts off and has got a bit of turn on that one, so very nice. Good to see the... The uh, is it pink ball pack? Would you say? I would say so. Yeah. We're calling you John Peck, by the way, moving yeah. forward. <laughs> I was referred to on the on the on Twitter. The Twitter yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. I, I go by many names, Jimmy. <laughs> John <laughs> amongst them. Ah, but you like Worm burner. That was the ultimate worm burner. Well watched by the Redford batsman. And I don't know if you heard that, but obviously we're becoming famous because the whole Retford team said Wormburner there as well. <laughs> Here comes Munch. Lovely spin. It's in the air. And I think we got that one. So there we had a, a George Lewis walk through the scene, but we should have been okay. So we're 41 for 5, or Retford, sorry, 41 for 5, with uh, 11 overs, or 10 and a half to go. Uh, we've moved the mid on and mid off to the boundary for this batsman, so um, I think the team must recognise him or know his strengths. He's got a reputation. Absolute reputation. Oh, you are bold. Go, Ruth! Go, Ruth! Tip it to the log side, Ruben, good arm, up into the bowler, for two. It's up part into Gully, Stoppers going for wickets, well ran. Very quick single, good running between the wickets there. So we've got George Lewis next to us here, who's uh, currently doing long off to long off, or long on to long on, I should say. Long off to long, long off. off, to long off George, that's the one. I feel your pain, George. We've all been there, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Biggest lad on the team. <laughs> it always seems to follow us around, doesn't it? 
Here comes Munch into the ball. A little clip to leg side. Big chase down there from Eddie Tofts. Going back from two. And a nice two runs. Pop. There's a, a pop and a glove and gone down for a run. And that is a beautiful shot onto leg side for four runs. So as I was saying earlier, uh, our President's Day's match is coming up on the 1st of August, up at the Wheatley Oval. Um, and I am being told, and that's Carl in, and a quick single for the Redford batsman. So I'm being told that we have an appearance coming from Princess Elsa, uh, Spider-Man, and uh, I believe Lego Batman. And this is a free hit for Redford. And a swing and a miss. So if you're around on the 1st of August, feel free to pop up. There'll be food, drinks, and entertainment for everyone. It's a little ledge. Inside edge, down for four. Mr. Hunt short, coming down to pick that ball up. So for those of you that are Frozen fans, um, we'll have children that are Frozen fans. Uh, I'm very, very excited that Princess House is coming down. Oh, oh wait, let's wait, hit the pad, wait. and he's triggered him. Um, that was plum, according to Mr. Peck. <laughs> that's a lovely shot. Mr. Tong out in the boundary there, and that's gone for four. Bit of a full toss there for Munch and punished. A quick single, Mr. Topham coming in, aiming, and well backed up. Lovely step over. This is why you see Mad Dog in a second. This is why he's a wicket keeper. <laughs> Oh, and that's Whoa. why they've gone back. He's gone for a humongous six, hit the pavilion, <laughs> and nearly killed the chairman. <laughs> Fantastic shot there from the Retford batsman. We've double checked, the chairman's still alive. <laughs> and comes again, and oh, that's that even is. Bigger, that. That's even bigger. That's even bigger. That's towards <laughs> the basketball court. So that's two sixes, two balls. So, the Retford's Rob Hunter Shaw is now on 26 <laughs> um, and striking the ball very cleanly. And a uh, new bowler for uh, Wheatley is Mr. Richard Topham. Coming in from the bungalow end. Here he comes. Off the leg. And it's a quick single. High up in the air. Ruben Lindsay, this will be a great catch if he gets it. Unlucky Ruben. Good chase. And unlucky. Great effort by Ruben. Mr. Topham coming in for another ball. Let's see what happens here. And beautiful ball and gets the leg stump. So five hours to go, Luke Tong's come on to ball, and he comes for his first one, and I think that might have hit the toe of the batsman. That's a good start for Mr Tong. And he comes, and that's coming straight towards us, and over the top of that into the tennis courts. And that's another six, fantastic shot. So that's 95 runs now for Bradford. And that was 
But you can hear Cal earlier referring yeah. to him as Michael Holding. Absolutely. <laughs> the weekly Michael Holding. And that's the reason why. <laughs> Lovely bouncer. And then a nice slower ball. Into the oh, fantastic fielding. Potential overthrows. So unlucky. I think if that was a direct hit, that would have been out. I'm very disappointed there's no washing on the line today, Mr. Pike. There was none yesterday, and it was the weather for it. I know. And that's a big shot to Eddie and caught. That's a big man well gone. Battered. So Mr. Peck's still with us, but he will have to disappear shortly. Are you back next week? Oh, yeah. Hopefully I am, mate. Yeah. So, and there's the ball and a lovely little dab. Into the offside, no run. So you'll be back next week, yeah? For Absolutely, your mate. Raring, raring to go. Um, but just remember, no matter what happens from now on, Jimmy, Mummy and Daddy are very proud of you. <laughs> and you have our blessing. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get a second team vlog in yesterday, Mr. Pecks, because... Um, well, I'm so sure wiki for 10 overs, the last 10 overs, I bought a wiki 30. Oh, mate. And then uh, realised I was 20 stone and shouldn't be doing this. I passed it over to, <laughs> to Mr. Hunt Shaw. Well, Let's listen, I think the point is, you can, you do a match day vlog if you can. Yeah. Um, the fact is that you're playing now, Jimmy, which is uh, as, yeah. a second team captain. <laughs> I, should, I should really be playing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I prefer the camera work. <laughs> You can get used to it, right? mate. I'm missing playing, mm. but it's, there's something nice about this. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to remove from what's happening on the field. Absolutely. Yeah. He comes top and well defended there by the young lad from Efford. And that's over. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Shot on to the leg side. Baller. We're going to throw the ballers. <laughs> and it was actually quite an athletic throw from there, Mr. Toss. And they get through for a quick single. 101. On the scoreboard. Oh, another bouncer. And that's one over shoulder height. So, round moment for the club here with um, for all those Mad Dog fans in the world, around the world, I should say. Mad Dog is coming to bowl. Imagine, you know, imagine a world <laughs> where Mad Dog is bowling, Jimmy. Oh, imagine if he gets a wicket. Is <laughs> oh, look at that action. Fantastic. Is, is the moon about to collide with the earth? <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know. Oh, and his first ball, lovely wide. That's 102 runs now. Um, and it's the final two overs. So when he comes, lovely bit of swing there, Mr. the pack. Bit of hoop. Nice. So, so far, why? I, I, I forgot there's a reason why my Mad Dog doesn't bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a wicket. The world yes, is going to end. What is going on? What has happened there? Is my there eyes, what? my eyes! <laughs> Last over the innings, Mr. Tom coming in. He's uh, off spinning, looks like. And a beautiful shot off his legs. Chased by Reuben. And it comes. That's two runs. Fantastic. Great shot for the young man. It's a wide ball and gone through another one. So I think that makes 110, if my maths is correct. Shot into the cross side and they stop him for one and bullet arm by Mr. Topham. Shots again to leg side, Reuben fielding. It's just the one single, and that is the end of the innings. So I think it's 112. Runs for Retford, which um, to be fair is not a bad score. Um, I think they brought um, some of their junior players down with them to give them a, some men's cricket experience. Um, so let's hope the uh, weekly collapse doesn't happen again today. And, uh, and we'll see you in the second half with a different angle, hopefully. So, welcome back to the second half. Um, 
Breakfast scored 112, so Wheatley need 113 to win. Uh, opening the batting today for Wheatley is Mr. George Lewis and uh, Jonathan Lotes. And uh, uh, Mr. Peck has left us to go do his family duties. So, um, so fortunately or unfortunately for some, you stuck with me. So as mentioned earlier, here comes the ref ball there. Here he comes. And a beautiful shot through the fielder. And a quick shot for two off George. Picked up in the field. So George is off the mark. I was just about to say, yesterday he got the golden duck, as, uh, as he mentioned earlier on film. So uh, let's hope we can get his head down today and get some runs. And that's a little nibble, and he's out. So a bit of commentator's curse there. Um, just talking about George getting off the mark and getting a golden duck yesterday. And a little nick to the keeper. And I also lied to the audience because uh, I guess has just arrived back. Mr Peck is with us again. <laughs> I just can't stay away, Jimmy. I've been, I've been given a stay of execution from Mrs Peck Excellent. of half an hour. Half an hour. Using the excuse that our eldest is having so much fun in the play park that I can't possibly tear him away <laughs> from it. So um, yeah, more cricket action, please. Well, it's, it's good to have you again. <laughs> And Alex Munchausen into that. The first ball left. Let's for the ball there. Popped a little bit there. It's the offside for a quick single. Fielded with their feet. So Mr. Lotes' is first ball. He's facing today. And nice little drive into the offside. And for those of you who have watched Mr. Lotes this season, he's a majestic batsman. And that's the over. Second one. So into the third over. And we are six for one. Mr. Lotes facing the ball. Tap into the offside. Well fielded by Cali, who is, I believe, Retford's overseas player from Barbados. Um, so, Mr. Toss, explain to the, uh, the viewers at home. Uh, why are you feeling a bit rough today? What time did you leave the pub last night? Uh, well, because of restrictions and they shut at 12, we definitely left at 12. <laughs> 12, OK, fantastic. That's good to hear. And uh, how many John Smith did you uh, polish up? I had to down three because of some members of my team thought it was funny. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then the rest of it, I, I couldn't tell you. Shot by Munch, quick run, good fielding. So, it would have been tight you know, with the direct hit. Feel, feel right now. Excellent. It's been a steady day so far. And, uh, Having to bowl was not fun. No. Um, but no, it's alright. Well, Playing against me old, me old boys today. Yeah. An old uh, Retford, Retfordian yourself. I know. I've yeah. got many, many Retford shirts at home. Do they still fit you more importantly? They definitely don't. No, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Fantastic <laughs> shot. <laughs> Humongous six <laughs> when Mr. Lokes there. <laughs> that sounded <laughs> beautiful. Jimmy, imagine playing a shot like that. Oh, that was it. Come on, come on, come on. quick single. Yeah, um, I wouldn't know, Mr. Pack, I'll be <laughs> honest with you. Mine hit edges, handles, and not much else. Oh. That is a shot and a half. By Munch. Well. He does, he does. That was a, a full toss, dispatched and punished. Probably for what he deserved. I know at, at the risk of repeating myself, Jimmy, but imagine playing a shot like that. <laughs> <laughs> or any cricket shot that gets off the square. Imagine. Yeah. Well, you don't need to imagine. I've seen you hit. Oh, I hit two, two fours yesterday. Well, I've seen yeah. you hit sixes into that tennis court at the far end. So, oh, yeah. um, you know. But, so, so, what's that like? Can you explain that to me? Well, I don't think mine's a cricket shot, I'll be honest with you. It's more of a, a golf shot, which I do. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, mate. Yeah. I followed up with a wide. So, into the fifth over here. And it's 22 for one. Uh, 
It's the Lotes on 8 and uh, Munchie on 9. And uh, so, what's this baller's name? Pat Nathan Singleton? Yeah, I believe so. Um, he needs to be a stalwart for Upford, doesn't he? His, his dad is an absolutely superb player. Yeah. And that is edged down to the Banji for a quick single. I think if there was a second slip there, that would have been gobbled up. So here comes Nathan in for the ball, and down leg side. And so we're going to miss the wide ball. So um, can I talk you through my uh, slip catch yesterday, Mr. Pat? Come on, mate. I want to hear every aspect of it. So uh, Mr. John Ellis is down from the first, bowling. Obviously, you know he's got a bit of pace. So uh, I went into the slips, and I stood about 10 metres back from the wicketkeeper. And it came through, and I dropped it. And then the next one came in, and it pretty much smashed me in the face nearly. But luckily, I had man's in the way. I can see it now, Jim, yeah. in my mind's eye. It's fantastic. And that's uh, another quick single. For munch. That was nice, oh, fantastic Johnny. shot. Get gone, get gone, get gone. Oh, Johnny, is that going to go or is that going to hold up? No, stuck just before the flag. It's a long and they way. run three. <laughs> so we have a change of bowl it for Ratford. It looks like a, an off spin it. We're also joined by Ruben Lindsay. Let's just see this ball. Okay. A little dink into the offside for Mr. Lotes for one. So, Ruben, I made a bit of a comment earlier, unfortunately. I was just talking about your, <laughs> your bowling yesterday and saying um, how you bowled really well, but you didn't get any wickets. So, you, you acted like a 15 year old and threw your toys out the pram. So, tell us about your bowling today. Uh, a, it was, a yeah, it was much better than yesterday. What were your stats? Because I know you would have known, so it's the first thing you do is go to the book. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't actually checked today. Oh, okay. But I'd be happy if it was less than 20. Less than 20, less yeah. than 20 How many wickets did you get? Two. Fantastic. Well done today. Well bowled, mate. Yeah. Well ball. That descent. Oh, shot. that's a beautiful shot by Munch. Oh, I say beautiful. This could be out. And that is a fantastic catch. great catch. grab. And for once, I actually got it, Mr Peck. <laughs> Kid skills, mate. Better than me. <laughs> lovely, lovely catch. So, 30 for two, as mentioned, Luke Tong's coming to bat. Johnny Lopes, quite possibly the two classiest bats from at Wheatley Cricket Club. And a little nudge up to the bowler, well fielded and stopped. Oh. And that was clipped, I believe, yeah, for four runs down leg. And oh. snap back, Bosh. side screen for four, and that was some bad camera work, so I apologise, I think. Uh, <laughs> that takes it to 39 for two. 14 overs to go. There we go again, and that's another fantastic shot for another four runs. Effortless. Just majestic. Absolutely beautiful shot. Here comes the off spinner. And Mr. Lokes has that is an unbelievable shot. Another beautiful shot. And another four. So change of ball here for Atford. And we obviously play it from Barbados. And a little half track it. Tiddle down the leg side for a quick single. So it comes in again, and it goes, and a lovely, lovely cut shot for four runs from Mr. Lotes. And he's moved on to 37, and we are now 55 for two, with 11 and a bit overs to go. Oh, beautiful shot by Mr. Lotes. And that's gone for four. Shot, Johnny. So Mr. Peck's half an hour is definitely up, and he has gone this time. Um, he did say before he left, uh, just for me to leave a quick message to say, um, if anyone would like to send any cakes, as they do with uh, Test Match Special, uh, they're always welcome for the uh, hard-working commentators of North Wheeling. Here comes the ball. And Mr. Tong, beautiful shot for four on the offside. And that was an edge into the wickets, wiki's gloves, and unfortunately dropped. Just notes on 48, and comes the ball there. Oh, and that! big shout for LBW <laughs> from the man, for the man at long off. Here comes the ball there, Mr. Lotes down the field, and 
Maybe you saw the tennis net ripple there. And that's a six. That takes you to 54. Fantastic 50 by Miss Lopes. And that is another fantastic shot. And hit the trees. Another six. And I think Miss Lopes is ready to go out. Or to finish and have a beer. Which I think he deserves. So replacement ball is on the field. It's two sixes in a row. And there comes again, and this time he's hit it, but it didn't quite make oh, it for four. It. That didn't sound great. Down Johnny goes, and that is another six. A fantastic shot. And that brings up the hundreds. I think uh, Mr. Lotes on 70 now. And that is a humongous shot, and that is caught on the boundary by a young man. And Johnny is asking for the no ball, uh, but he is given out. Umpire has not called it. So, fantastic innings from Johnny, 70 runs. Um, but unfortunately, oh wait there. Oh, wait there. No, that was a no ball. So, a fantastic catch on the boundary, but unfortunately doesn't count. And I think a fair call in the end. So, that leaves us with a free hit. So, not only is he out, but he has a free hit. So, let's see what he does with this. He walks down the crease, hits the leg side for no run. So 101, uh, eight overs to go, two wickets down. Luke Tong to face, and hits that first ball, and it goes for a four. Oh! Great comeback there from Kelly. And in comes the ball there. So I've decided not to move this time, because there's only three runs to win, and they've brought on a new young bowler. Leg spin it looks like from Retford and Mr. Tong out into the and it's gone for four and that is game over. But good effort from the Retford fielder. So that's the game. Um, thank you for Retford today. Um, put up a pretty decent fight. Um, weekly 114, seven overs to go. So um, yeah, a good battle and a good win for Wheatley. Uh, Johnny Lotes on 74, Luke Tong 22 not out. Um, and unfortunately, as mentioned at the start, we were already out of the Manon Cup before the start of play today. Um, but hopefully you enjoy the video. Uh, and as always, please subscribe and like and tell your friends. And uh, Mr Peck will be back with you next week. Thank you very much.